Hey everybody, how's it going? OBS Syndicate here and today got a brand new video for you guys. It's a carpet cleaning video showing you guys how to clean out the carpet on that dirty OBS. So do me a favor, if you enjoy the video, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And just a message for all you guys who already are following us, uh, subscribe to us. As of the time of this video, we've been pretty busy with a bunch of other things. So we haven't been able to put out as much content as we would like to for OBS videos, but we're just about done with all that other stuff. Uh, we got a ton of things lined up, just sitting, waiting uh, for us until we were going to have that time to, to start working on the trucks again. But that time is coming soon, so go ahead and stay tuned for that. Uh, got a bunch of cool things coming out. And now, without further ado, let's get on with the video. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is how my carpet looked after we took it out of the truck. It did get a little faded from leaving it in the back of my truck after we took it out, but all these spots here that you see was how it was when I bought it. Uh, you know, there's a ton of dark spots. I don't know if it's grease, dirt, whatever. Over here, you can hear how hard and caked on it is over there. Uh, so let's see if we could get it out. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pressure wash the carpet. If you don't have a pressure washer, you can try and use just your regular hose. Um, but really what you're doing here is getting as much dirt off as you can. And you'd be surprised really at how much uh, you can loosen up with the pressure washer. So a tip that we have when pressure washing is working in one direction, you know, top to bottom, top to bottom, uh, to make sure that you're really washing all that dirt and, and getting all that dirty water off of the carpet. You know, if you spray it just in one, uh, you know, really no direction, just spraying, 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 uh, then the dirt's just gonna go from one section to another on the carpet. So when you go and work in one direction, and it's getting all that stuff off the carpet. Now the next thing you're gonna wanna do after that is go ahead and spray your carpet cleaning solution. So the one that we have, I believe, is called Extreme Clean. And we always like to work with our solutions and these little spray bottles. I think you could get them, you know, at any hardware store, wherever. Uh, a lot of the times you use them uh, for poison when you're spraying poison in the yards. But just put your solution in there and just really work it. Spray it over the whole carpet, but, you know, add, definitely add some emphasis in the spots that are really dirty that need uh, extra work. So you're going to want to let the solution sit for, you know, a couple minutes and afterwards you're going to want to brush in the solution to really work it in the carpet. Now we have this fancy attachment for our drill, but you could use any old brush for cleaning, you know, like you could even use the ones they have some at Dollar Tree. Uh, and really you're just working in the solution into the carpet, further breaking down those spots. All right, so then you're gonna wanna rinse and repeat. So you're gonna wanna repeat those last couple steps as many times as you feel necessary for your carpet, you know, depending on how dirty it is. So that's pressure washing, spraying the solution, and then working it in again. And I believe for this day when we worked on this carpet, we did it about three times. Rinse it all off. After that, you're gonna wanna extract it. This is our little carpet cleaner extractor. Um, so you're going to want to go over the whole carpet with it. And what this is doing is sucking up all that water that's in the carpet, but it's also extracting all the dirt and everything that the solution has, has loosened up and worked up and, and the pressure washer. You could even, you know, scrub a little bit and in a couple spots that you feel could use a little bit extra work. Um, but really, you're going to want to go over the whole thing uh, and get a lot of that water out. And here you can see how dirty our water was from uh, extracting. And that's after, you know, rinsing it three times with the pressure washer. This is what uh, the extractor was able to pull up. So you're gonna wanna definitely dump that Fuji water out of here. All right guys, so after we've done all of that, let it sit for a while, let it dry. Uh, here's our results, here's what it looks like.
All right, everybody, that is it for the video. Hope you enjoyed. If you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button down below. You're definitely gonna wanna stay up to date with the channel to see all those new videos that we got coming out. Uh, a lot of tips, tutorials, tricks, and things like that. A lot of which I haven't seen on YouTube yet. So keep an eye out for that. Also, if you're located in California in the Bay Area or even better in the South Bay and wanna you know, shoot a video with your truck with us, send me a message on Instagram at OBS Syndicate. We're looking to highlight your guys' trucks. You know, whether that be a project or a build you're working on or even a finished product. We'll go take some pics, shoot some video, do a walk around, hear your journey with your truck. I think it'll be cool. Definitely want to hear your guys' story, see what other trucks are out there, start building the community uh, and get things going. So again, if you're interested in that and you're in the Bay Area, especially the South Bay Area, I'm in San Jose, uh, shoot me a message on Instagram at OBS Syndicate and we'll get the ball rolling on that. So again, Thank you for watching the video. Until next time, peace.